Hello, I'm Bood and welcome to the channel as always. Thanks for joining me. If you're brand new, feel free to subscribe. And while you're all here together in a lovely group of beautiful people, why not be kind to me and my little YouTube channel? Hit the thumbs up, get involved in the comments. If you really want to help me out, keep the channel going, keep the wife off my back. Always become a patron. Now, after the Zlatan video where I forced him to play till he was 60, I wanted to do one more. I'm not going to do loads, but I just wanted to do one more. And I've chosen to do it with Jean-Louis Buffon for a couple of reasons. One, we're the same age. We were both born in 1978. Can you believe it? We've lived through six decades, me and him. I think I'm wearing better than him, though. I'll be honest with you. Um, although if we're at school, he'd be the year above me. But yeah, we're both... 78 boys and ever since i've been playing this game since what 95 96 championship manager now football manager he's always been on it uh he's not gonna run it too much longer shortly because right well you start the game he's 43 but in real life right now he'll be 44 which is insane um, and he's still going but we're gonna go into the realms of fantasy and pretend that he's been told he's finished and he said no i could play till i'm 60 but no one's going to take him up on that offer. No one's going to give him that kind of contract. Until they go in touch with an old friend of his, Simeone Perotta, the ex-Roma player. And World Cup winner with him in 2006. You can see them both right here. So they're, they're still mates. They're having a chat. And Simeone Perotta is technically English. He was born just down the road from here and lived in England until he was nine. Actually born in the same hospital as me and Sir Jeff Hurst. Check that out. And he grew up in Ashton, then moved back to Italy, and the rest is history. So, he got in touch with the club from his hometown in Ashton, which is Curzon Ashton, the home of the Trinity statue of our local area's World Cup winners on it, which Simeone is one of them. Uh, and they decided to do a deal. £100 a week, but we will let Buffon stay here until he's 60 years old. Will he play? I don't know. Done me holiday in like on the Zlatan video. I try to avoid looking at anything. I don't genuinely know if this is going to work out. But that's the whole fun of stuff like this. Hopefully it does, and I can't wait to look. So let's get into it. So here we are on the general page of Kurz and Ashton. And another little fact for you. Some of you have probably heard me talk about this many times. But one of my best friends, Sean, who I'm going out with actually tomorrow. And I can't wait. Um, his little brother, Sam Walker, Stockport County legend, is actually also a Kurz and Ashton legend. There he is. He was the captain and everything. Played for him for years. Had a second stint there. I don't think it worked out for him. Um, but this little club, it's a cracking little club to be fair, cracking little stadium as well, the same size stadium, 4,000 capacity, um, plays in the Vanarama National League North. They don't they start the game without a manager by the looks of it. But what they do have is 43 year old Italian legend, 176 cap, bad boy himself, Gianluigi Buffon. Look at that, he's still a good player isn't he at 43. I don't know what he's going to look like when he's 58, but we will be finding out later. The veteran goalkeeper has won it all. He's had some career. Um, now, I'm guessing, obviously, things are going to drop off. His goalkeeping ability is going to drop off. His physicals will most surely drop off, but his mentals might carry him through and his leadership's 20, so I'm guessing it won't be long before he's the captain. Now, I've put a transfer in place for just after he turns 60 or the end of that season to go back to Parma. And um, of course, he is in real life now. But look at this for a career. I mean, wow. So, yeah, he was at Parma while I was at school. So, I, I left school that year. That's when I left high school. So, he still hadn't played from then. And then when I went to college, he started playing. And it's when I went to college, I got into championship manager that year. So, he's always been on it. And every year I've played solidly since he's been here. Palm, obviously, that massive stay at Juventus. That always blew me away. Think about that. In the year 2002, they spent 33 million on a goalkeeper. As a, I think back then, that is an insane amount. And I remember it being a crazy amount, but I think he was worth every penny. I never understood that. Obviously, he went back for a bit to Juve. do not like he played too much. But now he's at Curzon. Can he keep playing? I don't want to talk about Zlatan too much just in case this is your first video and you haven't seen it. So I'm going to try and be best to avoid spoilers, but I'd check that video out. I can't wait to see what this video does. So Curzon out the biggest team and apparently they're predicted to be eight. That's with Buffon in goal and he is in the dream team. 11, of course he should be. It's Buffon. So we've jumped forward now to the year 2030 and just like that Zlatan video, I wanted to avoid seeing stuff. I wanted to do it with fresh eyes like you. Um, so I've no idea 
how this has turned out so the way i did that once i've saved it just to make sure it's worth carrying on and the game hadn't somehow forced him to retire as i, do, I was just typing the name in same with latan done the same type in buffon and hopefully it come up yep yeah, he's still a goalkeeper at curzon ashton so he's still going and he's now 52 years old and he's played some games there for curzon although the old abilities are starting to wane a little i mean look at his physicals his goalkeeper skills have drastically dropped off. His reflexes are one. That's probably because his mobility scooter keeps getting stuck in the mud when he's trying to go for a save. But, you know, he's old, isn't he? 52-year-old goalkeeper. Doesn't look like he's played too much this year, though. So let's have a look. In the first few years, he's come flying out them blocks. He's been brilliant. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. The first five years, I'd say he was great. He's got him up into the National League. He must be a big part of that. Um, getting over a seven average rating. Last few years, he's still played. But he's obviously, his average rating is starting to drop off a little bit. And then they've been relegated. And he's not playing. So I'm guessing they've got other goalkeepers in. Maybe. Injuries. We'll have a look at his injury list, actually, at the end. That's something I didn't do with Zlatan. So yeah, while I'm filming, I'm going to be honest, before we talk anymore, it's that mega storm weekend. So I don't know if you can hear that outside. I don't know if my mic's going to pick that up, but holy shit. That's like torrential trees bent over and everything. Wow. So I'll just say this now. If you're watching this when this video comes out, I hope you're okay because, you know, there's going to be some serious issues across the UK with this storm. So I hope you're all right. Anyway, back to the video. And Buffon, like Zlatan, after one year being there, obviously with his 20 leadership, became the captain. I mean, they've got new chairpersons and all that stuff. I don't think they've won anything apart from obviously getting promoted that time into the national they didn't actually turn professional which is brilliant they've managed to upgrade the facilities now i don't follow curzon and Ian. i don't think they do too much we're a tiny little club but i like to think having someone like booth on there has helped that happen helped them get a new owner helped get some investment helped grow the club because of his prestige they definitely took advantage of his first few years even though he's well into his 40s pushing 50 I think he must have helped because this is brilliant. Gain up here and look at that. They actually finished fourth one year. They were fucking this close to getting in the Football League, which is insane. And unfortunately, they've gone back down to the Vanarama North. So, obviously, this ain't going to be as long as Latans because he's a few years older. Um, we've got, what, another eight years to go. I think we'll just go to the end and, and see what's what. And I'm guessing... Not a lot's going to happen for him now. Right, so it's now the 1st of June, 2038. And if he's still going, I'm pretty sure he will be. The game will not retire him. If they've got that future transfer in place, he'll be 60. So let's see what's going on. I'll type in his name here. Buffon. Let's have a look. Jalen Ouija Buffon, still a goalkeeper at Curse and Ashton. And here he is at 60 years old. It looks like he's played extra games. To be fair to him, born leader, veteran goalkeeper. No shit, he's a veteran goalkeeper. <laughs> this is crazy how you could do this, I think. Um, but yeah, his abilities have obviously dropped off a cliff. Look at his physical acceleration. Got no agility, got no balance, no pace, no stamina, no strength, no reflexes. Can't throw a ball, his shoulders are shot to shit. First touch, nothing. Handling, poor. He's still got up here, he knows where he needs to be. He just can't get his body there anymore. So here we are with his history, and I've highlighted the season that we last looked at. But look at it. God, this game can be so freaking random. Things like this are just pure experiments to me. I think this is a pure experiment. Because you don't know what's going to happen and, and you can get blown away by the most random things. So they got promoted that year, we last looked. The following season in the National, they got promoted again, but he didn't play a single game. Right? But then they get into the Football League and he plays 18 games, conceding... 57 goals, obviously getting relegated. Following season, he carries on playing 13 games and then he's helped a little bit, made appearances. All right, one game a season. Nothing to shout about. This last season, he hasn't played. But he played in the Football League. I mean, if he's 60 there, 59, 58, 57, 56, 50, at 54 years old, he was playing in the Football League, League 2. Oh, wow. The year he didn't play was, what, 2030, 2031? He didn't have an injury. Does that mean he didn't have an injury for four years, pretty much? So he wasn't injured. I mean, you can have a look at all them injuries if that's something you want to look at. 
Now that one year, they got promoted into the Football League and he didn't play a single game when I thought his career looked like it could have been over. Um, it's because he'd loaned this lad, who's now 27, a German, um, who's been around the block since. He's at Köln now, he's been at Stuttgart, Crystal Palace, Ipswich, Crew. But he spent a season at Curzon. So he was the reason. They must have loaned him in. Buffon got put on the back burner. But he didn't stop him because the following year, <laughs> they went back to him and he played. Crazy. So just going back to his entire career, he's played over a thousand games. A thousand games. And similar to Zlatan, you don't know what's going to happen. And I mean, as a goalkeeper, I thought he was done. When I saw that, I thought that's going to be the demise and this is just going to be zeros. That has just blown me away. I know he conceded a lot, but that's not all his fault. But shit team. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he still cracked on the year after. And now, unfortunately, they've been relegated. So it's like they've gone north. They got in the national, back to the north. Quick uh, progression to League Two. Spent ages back in the national. And now, unfortunately, they're back down. Where they started all those years ago. So I won't go through them all. But he's, he's done some good stuff. National League North Player of the Year. Um, been the best 11 supporters player of the year. I mean, them first few years, he bossed it, didn't he? Even at that tender age of like 40 odd. Wow. I mean, I haven't played, but the same age, I haven't played since I was 24. It's been a good 20 years since I played actual football. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even play in goal. You'd have to run around too much, could you? Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed how that turned out. So, this is a quick look at his biography if you want to read it. Just while I mention something, so. Um, early on on FM22, I did two videos called OAPFC, where I got all the best older players, made a club, put them in the league and saw how they could do, but there was no future transfers in place, they weren't forced to stay, there was a bit of a transfer embargo, I just wanted to see over a couple of seasons, could they still compete with the elite of the Premier League? But it makes me think about bringing back OAPFC for an episode 3, a different kind of one where I put them maybe in the lower level, back at OAPFC, future transfers so they're all ancient under a massive transfer embargo so no one can come in and no one can leave and see how far the old boys could really go even when they're all 60 could they still compete <laughs> i think that's worth a look just for a bit of fun i might just make it for myself so he's now made his move to palmer i don't think he's going to be playing for palmer even though they've got him down as a star player they've instantly made him captain which must be like an honorary thing surely I mean, come on. And they just finished 12th in Serie A, so we're going to see, because he's, I'm guessing he's going to retire. Surely. If he plays a game from though, I will be buzzing. Now, I've jumped forward another year to the 1st of June, 2039. He'll be 61, I think. Did he play for Palmer? Well, technically, he did. The 61-year-old um, played three with a substitute appearance, non-competitive games, conceding eight goals. He didn't make a first-team appearance, unfortunately. And I've looked through all this stuff, and it doesn't say he's going to retire. Although his contract's running out, so surely you're going to pack it in, mate. Surely. Well, he did. After a 46-year playing career, Jean-Louis Buffon finally, finally hung up his gloves. What a career. At least he made an appearance in some form or fashion in a Palmer shirt. I didn't think he would do anything. I'll be honest with you. Um, but fair play. Turned out really good. You never know with these things. Uh, what's going to happen. But yeah, it's really motivating me now to make a return of the OAP FC team. But with that different twist. I think I'm going to do that, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. So hopefully you enjoyed it enough to hit that thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe if you're new. Go and check out all my other content if you haven't already. There's loads more going to be coming throughout FM22. My custom series is about a week away from this video coming out. I cannot wait to share that with you. It's going to be a blast from the past for many of you guys out there who've been with me a long time. And if you're new, hopefully you're still going to enjoy it. I currently have a series running when I'm building St. Paul. I'm going to try and turn them into a powerhouse of German football. I'm really enjoying that. Hopefully you will too. And like I said earlier in the video, with this storm, it's looking really scary. I've just been reading a bit more on the news. And um, so I'm hoping you're okay. Hope everyone's okay. Hope you stay happy. Hope you stay safe. I'm booed. Bye-bye.